Next, we're going to position ourselves in the tunnel. So we'll go to the top hamburger menu, select survey and position in tunnel. Select the TXL file and then in our cross section view, we can choose. First, we point the instrument at the location we would like to position and then press store. This will allow us to capture point detail. So in this case, I will call it point one. I can also display one of the cross section guidelines. We can also ex check the position tolerance for over and under break. So when positioning in the tunnel, we'll, we're warned if that position is out of tolerance. This is useful for spot checking after the original tunnel has been bored or blasted to verify that it's meeting the design. Here you can see where the total station is pointed in the upper right hand side of the tunnel at this station and as well the under break value and the rotation percentage at that station. Now if I move the total station you can see that the crosshairs update on the screen to show the correct position. Because I'm currently measuring with the total station, it also is updating the overbreak and underbreak. I'll store a point here, and this will automatically create a new point since I defined the point range. I can also measure a point that is outside of the over or underbreak tolerances as well. Once I'm fi finished positioning, I can escape back to the main menu.